friends, welcome back to my channel. Myself AJ from AutomationJockey.com. In previous videos, I showed you how to install Automation Anywhere 9 on a Windows 7 machine. And in this video, I am going to show you how to install Automation Anywhere 11 on a Windows 2012 R2 server, which will include installation of Control Room and the client side of Automation Anywhere. So let's write Automation. On a desktop, I have a folder which contains the installation packages for client and control room. We have to install control room first, so let us begin with control room installation. Here you have two EXEs, one is for MS SQL and the other is for control room. Since MS SQL is a prerequisite, let me begin with this installation first. Since the process is going to be long, let me fast forward it. Here you have two options, either you can select Windows Authentication mode or Mix mode. Since it is going to be a demo installation, I am selecting Mix mode. You might need to select uh, Windows Authentication mode depending on the compliance of the company we are going to install control room. So now we have successfully installed MS SQL Server. So let me just click on close and we will now begin with installation of Automation Anywhere Control Room. So let me close this installation setup and let me launch Automation Anywhere Control Room installation package. Here you can review the license agreement and if you agree, you can click on I accept and click on next. And on this screen, you can have a perfect idea on the system requirement which currently you have and what is recommended by Automation and Web Control Room. So let me go through this. So here the minimum requirement for uh, Control Room installation is that you need to have a server operating system. In my case, it is 2012 R2 server and you need to have 8 core of processors and 16 GB of RAM and you should have at least 500 GB free space in your primary drive. I'm selecting express mode for the installation. Remember, the port for database is uh, 1433. And if you remember, at the time of installation of MS SQL Express, I had selected Mix Mode. And the password for the essay, which way you have specified in your installation, you can specify here during the installation. And I'm not changing the database name for the control room and bot inside. Actually, I'm clicking on Next. But here I will get an error. Why? Because it's not able to communicate with MS SQL Express installation, which we did earlier. So uh, let me show you how to fix this error. Uh, go to Windows and search for MS SQL Configuration Manager. Now on the left side, you'll find an option which is SQL Server Network Configuration. Click on that. And here you will find an option called TCP IP. Do a right click and enable it. Now just to make sure the port are correct, go to the properties and check for the port. 
it should be 1433 since it's the correct i am just clicking on cancel now to make these changes what we made here to be enabled or take effect uh, we need to restart the sql server to do that go to the windows and search for services okay here it is and look for sql server with the default name space that we have created at time of installation of sql server do a right click and restart that's it you can now close the window and click on next since this installation process is going to take a while i will fast forward it Okay, in this screen, not all the services of Automation Anywhere will start successfully. There's nothing to worry, you can just click on Restart Services and it will work perfectly fine. Again, this will take a while, so let me just fast forward this. Now you can see all the services of Automation Anywhere were successfully started, so it will move to next screen automatically. Installation of Automation Anywhere Control Room has been successful. So let me just click on finish and configure the control room of Automation Anywhere. In username, you can add uh, server admin. Uh, you can skip a description first name and last name and in the email address you have to specify the email id same in the confirmation email and now you can uh, type in the password And now you can click on next. Here you can choose security questions. There are total three. Uh, you can choose any of it, but I have chosen first pet, first school and first car. And now you can click on next. On this screen you will find the master key. Uh, it's always preferable just you can just uh, copy it and save it in a text file and store it somewhere secure. So let me just save it on a desktop for now. Master key. Save. Alright. Here you can choose express mode and uh, click on save and continue on the top. Now you can see that we have successfully installed automation anywhere control room. Okay, so let us now begin with uh, installation of uh, automation anywhere client side so let me just close the other windows go to the installation folder uh, go back and go for the client setup 
we will install the first exe which is automation anywhere client again this process is going to be lengthy so i will fast forward it On this screen, you will be asked which plugins you want to install. I will install Java plugin as well because uh, this will help in automating uh, Java based applications. Either it could be a web application or it could be a desktop application. So I click on yes and install. Now we have successfully installed Automation Anywhere client. So we, now it will pop up with the login screen for Automation Anywhere client side. Now let us add a new user in control room. So for that we go to administrator and click on user. On the top right you have option create user. You can uh, give a new username. I would call it uh, bot creator. specify the password now let us add email address as well So now let me move forward by adding a role. For demo purpose, I am just selecting AA underscore basic add and I will go to the bottom of the screen and select which uh, automation uh, license do I need to apply to this user. And here you can select the bot creator enable. Now let me go to the top and click on create user. All right. now we need a link that we can use to communicate between uh, client and the control room so let me go to the settings general and search for uh, control room access URL let me copy that and let me go to the client now I can just right click and paste the URL and click on uh, user credential and uh, the new user that we had created it was bot creator so let me just uh, uh, enter it credentials bot creator and its password and click on login Alright, it's a trial version. We have only 30 days remaining. I will just skip this. Okay, now it's launching Automation Anywhere Client. Okay, now you can see we have option to new, record, run and edit. So let me just create one more user that is for the bot runner. Okay, let me go to control room, user and click on create user and i will give this a name as a bot runner sorry bot runner uh, we can skip description first name and last name because those are optional but password is mandatory so let me just enter the password here confirm the password all right uh, next we have to specify the email address Again, it's a dummy email address. All 
all right uh, let me add uh, a a e underscore basic to this user it's a user role you can create an own user role i will explain that in the next upcoming videos now we have uh, an attendant bot runners and attendant bot runners so i'm just selecting attendant bot runners all right okay so now let me go to the top and select uh, create user okay now we have one more user created which is only for running the bots so let me just quickly go to the automation every client and search for uh, sign in again so yeah here it is re-login you can specify the username uh, now we create a new user that is bot runner so let me enter its credential bot runner and password okay login perfect now you can see it only has option to run not to create not to edit and uh, not to record anything i hope this video was very informative for you and i really request you all to please like share and subscribe to my channel it really helps me motivate to create more educational content like this it will help you and many other rp experts around the world thank you